Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome back to the Grantham Pub Underground and Happy New Year. Great show for you today. Most of us, when we celebrate New Year's, we think of bubbly. And there's nothing wrong with having a glass of the bubbles for ringing in the New Year's. And, you know, even though we're going to make something different here today, I'm going to tell you, have some, have some bubbles on hand for the New Year's. Whether you like champagne, Prosecco, Cava, any kind of sparkling wine. Because remember, all sparkling wine is not champagne, even though that's kind of like the generic term. But that's a subject for another day. But today, we're going to make a couple, what I am going to say are like, like classier drinks. It's New Year's. We're dressed up. See, I'm dressed up. I think of New Year's as like a, as a dress-up holiday. You go out, you get all fancified, and you have some fun with your family and friends. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have some fun with all our friends out there. And we're going to make two drinks. Is this thing on again? Did I forget to turn it? No, it was on. Two drinks today on that are displayed right there on our favorite, uh, you know, say it with me, the Jess sign. That's right. We're going to make two. A, it's called a Cloudy Red Flame and a drink called a Lemon Ball Drop. Both are really good. We'll get into them as we go. And let's start right off with the Cloudy Red Flame. Simple. And the thing that's cool about these drinks is you don't have to go out and get a bunch of crazy stuff because you might have all of it already on hand, you, except for one or two things. But, hey, if you want to make it, you can pop out and get them. It's, but you don't have to. So let's get going. The Cloudy Red Flame... And both of these are really just vodka-based drinks. And this is really simple. It's just a little bit of everything. Vodka, your favorite vodka. Now, if you have citrus vodka, by all means, feel free to use that. I don't have citrus vodka currently, so I'm not using it. And then after citrus vodka is some raspberry liqueur. Now, if you have the fancy raspberry liqueur Chambord, again, by all means, use that. I don't. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then another equal part of cranberry. And then here's the one thing I guess if you absolutely wanted to, you could use orange juice. It calls for tangerine juice. Now, before you say, Tom, I don't have a tangerine juice. It's the holidays. Everybody gets those crates of little mandarin oranges or clementines or whatever they call them. They're basically tangerines. So go squeeze some of them. They're, they're probably on you, in your fruit basket or in your fridge that somebody gave you at work or whatever. So that's all it is. And it's... It's just a little bit of a different flavor than regular orange juice. But in a pinch, could you use just orange juice? Yeah. But even the stores this time of year, they all have those little oranges that you could use for this drink if you were so inclined to get them. So, and then it's just the same amount of that. Look at that. I'm just going to dump the rest in. And then the very tiniest little bit of lime. Just I'm just going to put the tiniest little splash. It just needs, lime can get away from you, but I think it just needs that little brightness that you get from the lime. And that's, that's it. Simple as that. So let's just give it a good shake. Don't got to go crazy. And then for that, a nice big drink. And the cool thing about this drink and the other drink, wow, doesn't that look nice? Is that it's mostly juice. It's like half and half juice. So you could have, it's not like your typical martini or Manhattan where you're just getting slobber knockered and you have to worry about things. So just like that, we got a drink in the books for New Year's Eve, the Cloudy Red Flame Martini. Next drink. Now, total disclosure, I 
looked this I was just looking up for ideas for stuff that was outside of just typical champagne type style drinks and I found this on the line and I don't know if because I don't watch the show I don't know if it was on their show or just on their website but I found this on the Today Show and this is like my take on it but I think it's cool for one thing that we'll get into and it's basically you see it's called a lemon ball drop get it ball drop and then lemon drop so it's basically just a lemon drop but we're going to spruce it up a little bit. And it starts with fancying up your glass. And to fancy up your glass, just take your favorite martini glass that I'm running all down the side here. Little piece of lemon. You know, we've done this hundreds of times before. And just dip it in some sugar. Now, I'm using, I'm actually using this stuff here. This you get in the cookie or cake aisle. It's like crystallized sugar. If you have that, by all means, use that. If you don't, regular sugar would work. And if you don't have either, well then don't use either. The only thing about this crystallized sugar, it's kind of chunky, so it doesn't really want to stick to the glass real good. But we'll, we'll, we'll get, make it work. There. How's that? Good enough for government, right? So that's that, we'll set that aside for now. And then like I said, this is basically just a lemon drop cocktail. So let's move that away so we can see what we're doing. And again, it starts with vodka. Now, your favorite vodka, again, if you wanted to use some citrus vodka, that would work perfectly fine here. A couple, two or three parts of that and then I'm going to add a little bit of triple sec. This is just, I think it just ups that the sweetness and the citrus, citrus, citrusiness of it a little bit. And that's about half to one part of that. And then originally the drink calls for lemon juice. I am actually using lemonade, but I'm using good lemonade. It's either, you know, the lemonade you get in the dairy aisle that's already prepared, the fresh lemonade or lemonade, frozen lemonade in the can that you mix with water. Do not use the powdered because it it's just doesn't taste like lemonade. So I'm going to put a little bit of that. And then, just another little splash. And then just finally, because it's that kind of a drink, just a little bit of, um, what is that? Simple syrup. And that's it. It's really simple. But the cool thing about this drink, which I'll explain after we do a little GPU shake, is center forward here. It's called a lemon ball drop. So what are you going to do for the ball drop? And here's the thing that it struck me, is you need a ball to drop on New Year's Eve. And all this is, I'm just going to place it right across the glass here. All this is, is a sugared grape. Just the same way, well not exactly the same way. Remember when we did the sugared cranberries? We, we rolled them around. We warmed them up a little bit in simple syrup and then dusted them. You can't do that with grapes because the skin is really thin, so it doesn't hold up. What I did, I just dipped it in the simple syrup. And you have simple syrup. You should always have simple syrup in your kit, your refrigerator for your drinks. And then put them in the sugar. And then you just let them dry. You can put them on a rack or actually what I did, I did them on toothpicks and then I stuck them in a lemon. So they're hanging up in the air. And then they get hard. And, and that's all there is to it. And then you put it in there and you have a fun little um, garnish for your, for your New Year's drink. So it's New Year's. You know what we gotta do? Celebrate the New Year's with you and with me. So without further ado, ready? Drink.
Now, I have a little confession to make. You know, I normally tell you, wow, I've never tried these drinks before. I have tried these drinks. This is actually my second time making this video because the first time I made it, uh, I had more technical problems than you can believe. I forgot to turn the mic on to my camera. My secondary camera, where I get my overhead shots, the memory card was full, so it shut off. And then my recorder for my uh, lapel mic, uh, when I put it in my pocket, I turned that off. So I had, and I had a video with zero audio and zero B-roll. So I just started over. So that's that. But so why did I tell you that? Because I have actually tried these drinks before and I know they're good. And I know I tweaked the recipes a little bit to make them even better. But that's beside the point. So here's to you guys. Happy New Year. How do we do? Second time around. Just as delicious. Backing off on the lime juice was the move there. I like it a little citrusy, but Lisa, who's probably gonna drink that when we roll wrap here, she's not super citrusy, limey, lemony flavors. She's gonna enjoy that because it's not, you don't, the one I made yesterday, the lime really hits you a little more. This is definitely raspberry forward. So this is cool, the lemon ball drop. So what you do, well, this is just what I do, because it's just like, I'm just gonna be like Dick Clark. And for, for you people that are younger, Dick Clark is the Ryan Seacrest of my generation. So, Dick Clark's Rock and Eve. They still call it that though, I think. I have, well, I haven't watched it in years. So just like the ball going down on Times Square, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Okay, enough of that. Let's get to the getting. Cheers. Well, that crunchy sugar. That's, that one's just as good as it was yesterday. They're both really good. If you like citrus, this is a good drink for you. If you don't like citrus so much, that's a good drink for you. Just back off the lime a little bit. But that's it, guys. Simple as that. Two great drinks for New Year's. But don't forget, get yourself some bubbles and have that for your New Year's toast. But don't get crazy with this stuff. Have a good time. But like the thing that I like about this, you can make this more lemonade than, than um, vodka. Re you know, That way it'll be more easy for you to drink and have a good time without having to worry about it. Although you should always worry about it. Do, you know, especially, I know you probably get sick of me hearing this. You get, probably get sick of me hearing this. How do you know what I hear? You probably get sick of me saying it time and time again. But you gotta, you gotta do it responsibly. We're having a good time, we're making cocktails, having drinks, but we're doing it responsibly, and especially on New Year's Eve, one of the biggest drinking nights of the year. Do you know the three bar holidays. I don't know why, that, why they call them holidays. It's not like you're not working. But the three big bar blowout days, and, it's, and everybody's going to say, oh, the day before Thanksgiving. Yes, but no, because a lot of that's more eating, too. It's New Year's, St. Patty's Day, and wait, did somebody say it out there? Wait, yep, Super Bowl Sunday. Although, I think in more recent years, the past, <clears throat> excuse me, in more recent years, the past 15 years, 20 years or so, Halloween weekend is really crazy in the bar business. So just, but, but the reason I say that is because you got to be careful. Have a house party, have a sleepover party. Sleepover parties are cool. Or just, just have a, have a DD, get a ride share, do something, but just be careful so you're having a good time. That's it. I'm done. Hanging out. Oh, I'm going to drink this one. Lisa will drink that one. So tell me what you think. Did you like these drinks? Is it something that you could see, you know, as a little alternative to champagne or sparkling wine? I think so. I think they're good options. And hmm. 
So if this is your first time here, you can see how much fun we have. Why don't you think about subscribing to the Grantham Pub Underground? We got cocktails, discussions, good times, taste tests, everything that you need to help you out to entertain your family and friends at your own home bar. And if you do subscribe, why not hit the bell? So when a new video like this comes out, you'll be notified. You can catch it right away. And if you really like us, consider leaving us a tip. There's a link for you to do that as well. It helps us out making these uh, videos for you. But don't feel that you're obligated. You're never obligated to leave a tip at the Grand Pub Underground. We're just happy to have you time and time again here when we do something new and have a good time. So I'm going to go enjoy some New Year's Eve. Happy 2022. And let me know in the comments what, why you're glad to get rid of 2021, although I'm, I'm pretty sure I know why most of you would say, and what you're looking forward to in 2022. We do a cool thing. On New Year's Day, we go out back, we have a fire, and we symbolically burn all the BS from the previous year, and we drink. So that's what we do. Tell me what you guys do for New Year's. So until I see you next time right here at the Grantham Pub Underground, cheers, happy new year, and I'll save a seat at the bar for you. Take care.